All right, here we go. Today we have renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Welcome to Vlad TV. Thanks for having me. You can call me just Neil. Neil is fine. Okay. Uh-huh. Neil it is. Yo, big fan for a very long time. Congrats on all your success and the impact that you made in the science community, kind of really bridging, you know, different cultures together to really make everyone smarter. <laughs> Which is what I think you've accomplished. Well, I think it's it's easier when you got good material. Ah. And the yeah. universe always makes good material. Absolutely. Because everyone at some point in their lives has looked up. Mm-hmm. And that's a common thread that you can stitch through whatever it is I want to share and to whomever it is that has time to listen. <laughs> so I'm really just uh, – I see myself as a conduit mm. to the cosmos for just for all all those who want to learn a little more and just feel like they're part of the universe again. Conduit to the cosmos. Uh, that's a good business card right there. Neil deGrasse Tyson, <laughs> Conduit to the Cosmos. It's got alliteration and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's got I a little it. both. I love it. Well, it's your first time here, so let's start in the very beginning. So you were born and raised in Manhattan. No, no. Uh, well, uh, born in Manhattan, but I was my residence was in the Bronx. In the Bronx, yeah. exactly. Okay, born in Manhattan, and you were raised in the Bronx. The Bronx, yeah. Okay, and... Uh, two-parent home, your dad was a sociologist? Yes, by training. Mm-hmm. Okay, he was also the Human Resource Commissioner. at Under Mayor Lindsay during the Civil Rights era, yes. Okay. Yes, the 1960s Civil mm-hmm. Rights era in New York City. And your mom was a gerontologist. Later, right, they had a pact when they got married that she would raise the kids mm-hmm. after high school, uh, and he would go on to college, when the kids were grown, she would then go back to school uh-huh. when we were empty nests, which indeed she did. Mm. Got her undergraduate degree and then master's in gerontology and then worked for the feds administering money from the uh, – what department is that? Uh, Health, and, uh, Health and Human Services uh, Department of the Government to uh, feed money to uh, nursing homes and other places that cared for the elderly. So my parents were very much engaged in the plight of the human condition. And I'm their astrophysicist son. <laughs> that was a little bit <laughs> – I wasn't – I was never unaware of that disconnect. However, the this daily exposure, I might even call it a baptism, into concern for the human condition never left me. So uh, however far I floated into the sky – I uh, my feet were anchored on earth. Well, your dad is black and your mom is Puerto Rican. Uh, they were just my parents, but okay, if we're going <laughs> yeah. to colorize the story. Uh, so he, he has uh, he has roots in uh, the British West Indies mm-hmm. and his dark skin. Uh, my mother has lighter skin and she has roots in Puerto Rico. Both of them were born in New York City. Mm-hmm. Do you guys speak Spanish at home at all? No, she... she was of an era where you tried to lose your native language as quickly as possible. Oh, really? She would later, yeah, because it would it would interfere with your access huh. to opportunity. Okay, uh, you're welcome to America. You know, back in the 1930s and 40s yeah. um, and 50s. So you later on, she would expose us to Puerto Rican culture and would work to bring much of the language back. So all of the salutations in our correspondence are. Spanish now. <laughs> so she's 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 back in. She's 94, still going, and she's back in. Okay, and you grew up in Castle Hill? My earliest memories are the Castle Hill housing projects okay. in the East Bronx. Okay. Uh, it's near the Whitestone Bridge. You can see the Whitestone Bridge from there. And those are my earliest memories. And then my father's income went above that. It was a middle-income housing project. And then we had to move. You're forced out, yeah. naturally. And so we moved to Riverdale. So my formative years were actually in Riverdale, New York, the, this section in the upper left corner of the Bronx. I always said I was from the Bronx, but people in Riverdale always said they're from Riverdale because <laughs> <laughs> it's a swankier part of the Bronx. Okay. If I can use swanky and Bronx in the same sentence. Well, what was the Bronx like in the 70s? Uh, well, it was very neighborhood dependent, but there were parts of the Bronx that were completely bombed out. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would look at pictures from the Second World War after some army had been through some town and you'd see rubble and, and garbage and yeah. things. And there are parts of the Bronx, South Bronx especially, 
that looked just like that. Mm -hmm. My part of the Bronx was not. It was very well maintained, had good services and the like. I still nonetheless went to public school. All the schools I went to were numbered, except high school. Um, you know, PS 36, PS 81, junior high school 141. Um, and then in high school, uh, I attended the Bronx High School of Science. I mean, you were 15 when hip hop was born in the Bronx. Do you remember hip hop being a thing in the 70s at all? Not when it was born, because that was kind of happening. South Bronx. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was a culture rising. Mm -hmm. And my exposure to it was probably simultaneous with everyone else's when it hit the charts. And, uh, you know, Curtis Blow and yep. the Sugar Hill Gang. And I, so by then I'm in college and just sort of slowly weaning myself off of disco. And by then I'm in college and we lost our minds hearing that music. Oh my gosh. We couldn't get enough. We, we, at a party, they play it multiple times. And generally, you don't do that at a party because there's enough. There's enough portfolio yeah. that you can fill the multiple hours. We would go back to that. We memorized all the, the you know, all the lyrics. Uh, so, uh, you know, I can still recite it to this day, and it brings me back to the memory of the funk and the smell of the dance rooms <laughs> of college. <laughs> I'm Curtis Blow, and I want you to know that these are the breaks. breaks. Okay. Break it up, break it up, break it up. Right, right. And the hip, the hop, the hippity, 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 the